Hey Marge, this is Damon down in Kentucky. Uh, had my cyclone right now about four or five years. Love it. Great piece of machinery. Uh, I did something with your hitch or made a hitch that I wanted to show you. Maybe you, your company might be interested in it. But uh, your hitch hooked up to a plate and you had two pins running down through here. And you had a limited range of motion, a limited range of, you know, your travel. And I know most people's property, you don't have that much travel. And, uh, but I had a problem on some of the banks I had. It was it would get in a bind. Uh, so here's what I come up with. Maybe you'd be interested in it. We've got two pieces of half inch plate here, and I understand that may be a little heavy. But we did that to match this half inch plate here. We've got a three quarter inch bolt going through it. The reason we chose three quarter because sometimes you know if this is wet or full, it's heavy. We don't we, you know we didn't know how much strain would be put on that. But with this bolt going through here and these two pieces of plate, it allows this to pivot like this. So you have an unlimited range of motion this way. So I ran a, then we took an inch and an eighth piece of solid bar and bored it out. And now again, I understand that may be a little heavy. And we ran a solid bar through here and pinned it on this end. That way this bar pivots this way. You're up and down a vertical, and it's unlimited. It's unlimited motion. And again, this pivots this way. So I've got a little bank here in my yard, just a little one, uh, that I'm going to film this going up this bank and down. And then I've got a steep bank that's a real up and down. And I want to show you how this works. I've tried it a couple times. It works fine. The only thing is, is this part right here from, your, from the original, We'll dig into the bank, but I'm, I'm going to take that off in the future that just so you'll see that that's what's going to happen. But you'll notice there's no strain anywhere on, on, on your mower, on this plate, or anywhere else. Uh, and this right here is probably 3 16 or quarter inch plate. Uh, I'm thinking the next one I build, probably go with 5 16 and maybe put some ribs right in here, some stiff backs or stiffeners in case in case there's too much uh, give in the plate. I don't see that being a problem. Uh, we made these without grease fittings, but uh, I can I can get these uh, grease fittings put in here where it'll grease this bolt and, and have a hole that comes out and greases in between these plates. We can even put grease fittings here if people want it or if it needs to be. Uh, and if it really got down to it, I guess I could fit it where we could press some bearings in here but that's getting really expensive to do that but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna get on this and crank it hopefully my wife she's filming so can show you uh, how this works
course this is my bank and all these oak trees and this is how I do it in the fall. But all the, there is there is no stress on this whatsoever because it's all pivoting right here right here through this bar. You can have 360 degrees pivot. So there's no stress right here at all. Now I'm going to turn this thing sideways on this bank and let you see these two plates pivot and how that works. Uh, catcher on the side of a hill and you can see this plate here how it how it's pivoting on this bolt there's no there's no limit to the range of motion like there was in these uh, pins therefore you're cutting out all the, the, the wearing out of the hole that uh, I had a problem with and uh, anyway this can this will go this way or this way there's no 360 degrees there's no no limit to it but that's that's what I've come up with I'm gonna use it uh, you know if you think you might be interested in it that'd be great we can make them in, in no trouble in no time but uh, just thought I'd show you what I've come up with might be interested in selling them might be a different kind of attachment but I mean you could use this on anything uh, not necessarily just this it could be redesigned to fit a trailer or anything but all your wear and tear, all your pressure on the back of your mower uh, is now eliminated. So anyway, I appreciate the time looking at this and hope you have a great day.